welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again for yet another Marvel Legends video, and today we're going to be checking out a brand new entry into their subsection Marvel celebrating 85 years action figure line with a character, a figure I've been really looking forward to getting. This is a character that needed an update, very much so, Danny Ketch, the Ghost Rider, rides again, and yes, he does come with that awesome Awesome Ghost Rider motorcycle. The artwork on the box is great. Everything is nice and pristine on the backside. You get renders of the figure. You get to read up on old Danny Ketch Ghost Rider if you want to screen grab this. And yes, I am hoping that he's every bit as cool as he looks here with what you get with the figure. And that's the gas cap that he touches, turns him into Ghost Rider. Now, here's the barcode. Mine came in from Entertainment Earth. For those of you interested, I will put a link down in the description below. You can order one up for yourself. If it is in stock, the link will automatically give you 10% off. I use them myself, highly recommend them. Guarantee you'll find something there that you like. So this is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot spooky cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new from the Hasbro Marvel Legends, the Marvel celebrating 85 years action figure line straight from the 90s. Danny Ketch, the spirit of vengeance, Ghost Rider. And while I got all you Spirit of Vengeance here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube vids. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Why? Well, we got old toys. We got new toys. We got daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. Like Ghost Rider, of course. So now, here's everything taken out of the packaging. And I'll save you some time. If you are a huge fan of Ghost Rider, if you like the 90s, the Danny Ketch Ghost Rider... You're probably going to love this. I really like it. But because I like the 90s Danny Ketch Ghost Rider so much, I am going to nitpick the heck out of this thing. Because there are things about this where I'm like, ah, starting it off with this chain, this really cool silver into this flamey ghost chain. It looks awesome, right? We have seen this chain at least five times prior. You have a brand new, awesome, Danny Ketch Ghost Rider. He's a completely different Ghost Rider, and you give him the same chain. That is such a bummer. I really wish you would have gone above and beyond for this one. Now, does he look cool whipping it around? Yes, it looks fine, but something different, like an outstretched chain, maybe something you can wrap around a character, something like that, because... Well, he does have a chain draped around him, which, thank you. So this is supposed to be the unchained, he starts whipping around. It's just, yeah. You do get extra hands with this Ghost Rider. I totally like that. Fisted hand, open hand, and it has the appropriate spikes on the fisted hand. He only has spikes on one side, hands, and then you'll see later on with his boots. But yes, that's totally correct. Love them both. Now, when it comes to the actual figure itself, from the neck down, that's totally Danny Ketch. Totally love it. When you look at the head portrait, you go, yep, that's Johnny Blaze. That's a reused head portrait, and it shows. They did paint the eyes, though. Check that out. Feel the torment of a billion, billion extinguished souls. Experience the pain of eternal guilt. And I like what you're doing there with the whole penance there. That's cool. I totally dig it, but... It's the same head portrait. Why not give him a brand new skull, something amazing, big old flame? Like, that's what I think about with Danny Ketch, he was distinctly different in the way he looked, the way the skull looked. Maybe have an attachment piece of the fire of the hair that looks like it's billowing off the back as he's on the motorcycle. They did get the spikes. They got the chain across the chest. That's cool. Totally dig that. And I like the texture of the leather jackets. They did a great job there, too. I totally appreciate that. Again, like I said, this very much reminds me of the old Toy Biz days, the old commercials but from the neck down. <laughs> you do got the gauntlets with the spikes. They're just silver plastic, but they work. You got the gauntlet glove on one side, gauntlets and no gauntlet gloves on the other. And I love that he's got the chain belt going on. Then he has a little mini chain hanging off. Like that's his wallet, right? Something like that. As you continue down, you got the gray pants. I like all the folds, the sculpt. That looks great. Pinless. I might add, you do have the spikes on one side. So again, that's very accurate to Danny Ketch, the motorcycle boots, that all looks great. This side, no spikes. Again, the leathery look, the texture, it's not 
totally in your face like McFarlane, right? So I think they've done a great job in that sense. But as I'll say over and over again, that skull, you know, that just, <laughs> I'm going to have to find something different. Something that makes it Danny Ketch because it just looks like Johnny Blaze. That's, that's the skull we've seen so many times. You'll see it in this video. But like I said, how about some extra attachment pieces for the flames in his head? So it looks like it's billowing off the back as he's driving his awesome motorcycle. Something like that. Also, you don't get the greatest articulation in the head. You really want to be able to put that head portrait back, get his jaw down, and he's just a screaming ghoul as he's on his motorcycle. And because of the limited articulation with moving the head back, you really can't do that unless you use the ab crunch. His jaw is sunken in. It's not ideal. It doesn't hit the back of the collar. It's just the limitations of the neck, or rather his spinal cord. Plenty of articulation in the arms, the double jointed elbows, everything else that you would need for a Danny Ketch Ghost Rider to ride his motorcycle. So yes, if you like Marvel Legends, if you know Marvel Legends, there's not going to be anything too crazy in the way of the articulation, and it all works for achieving the poses you want to get as he's driving his motorcycle. I like he's got the drop down hips. They've been doing that a whole heck of a lot more. You get him to kick out if you want, but be honest, you're going to pose this guy on a motorcycle, and as long as he does that, that's all it really needs to do. Yes, he does have boot swivel on this. The last Wolverine we looked at did not. It's not that big a deal. It really doesn't do much for me. I was happy with the articulation, and for this articulation, sure, it totally works, except for the head being able to go back. Moving on to the fiery parts and pieces for your motorcycle. You get this stand, and it's a hollow stand. It's all the flame effects. It simply plugs into the base of the motorcycle and it definitely looks good. It holds it up well, so that's a plus. And I like all the fire effects coming out. It looks very windswept. That's cool. That's a nice additional piece. Likewise, you get two base stands, basically, of which you put the tires in. There's not much to it. It's kind of a gummy rubber, but again, very secure, keeps the bike upright, which I'll get into that in just a few, but it definitely does its job for the back tire, the front tires. You get the idea, right? So it's very simplistic. You plug the bike in and you move it around at your leisure. I get it. Yeah, it totally works for me. The one problem though is that the bike can't stand on its own. <laughs> so you can't use the bike or get it to stand without those parts and pieces. Is that a big problem? No, most likely you'll use the fire effect pieces, but it would have been nice for an option. I love the fronts of this. Always love the front of the bike. I like all the cracks and the disheveled nature of it. That's cool. But the eyes of the bike, which used to be headlights, are now see-through. So a lot of this, and I kind of looked it up, seems to be a more modernish take on the Danny Ketch Ghost Rider, which is a little bit disappointing to me. I wish you had swap-out plates. That would have been cool. The tires are like big old skateboard tires. Those are cool. All the machinery of this bike, that's why this bike stands out and has stood the test of time as much as it has. It's just beautiful. It's awesome. I wish this bike existed and you can ride it around. Now this part right here, this silver and black piece is the movable foot peg. So you can move it in two different positions. You can move it further away or you can move it closer. I had hoped that if you move it in the middle, it might stabilize the bike, but unfortunately, no dice, so you can get Ghost Rider into whichever position you want. I definitely prefer it more towards the front of the bike. You can go either way with it. But right here, you can clearly see that's the gas cap, the magic Ghost Rider gas cap that he touches, which turns him into the Danny Ketch Ghost Rider. I like all the gauges. That's nicely done. You can see each individual one. You can see the handlebars. Everything right here, though, is a separate piece. When you pull this bike out of the packaging, you have to kind of assemble it. So the front plates, yes, that'll slip right off. And then you have the handlebars right here, which is a separate piece. It just pegs in. Everything is very sturdy. Everything works. It's an easy peasy, simple two second assembly process. And once you do it, yes, you do have a very cool looking Ghost Rider bike complete with some spinning tires. The underside where you're going to plug in the Firebase, you get the idea. So when you get your Ghost Rider all attached to the bike, which, yes, I'm happy to report, he definitely situates very nicely on said bike. Attach the two fire pieces to keep the bike upright and you'll be on easy streets 
when posing this guy on your shelf. And if you give him the chain whip, yes, it looks great. That's Ghost Rider. But I says what it says, and I means it. Now, in looking at the Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider, see the skull? Yeah. And his bike. That's awesome. That looks great. To the new Danny Ketch Ghost Rider. He does look awesome. He does look great. My nitpicks aside. And then you have the Cosmic Ghost Rider. And that looks great as well. So yes, if you're a fan of Ghost Rider, much like I am, you should be a happy camper with all three of these, if you have all three of these, if you're that insane. But they all look great together for various differences. But I gotta say, yes, I still love this old Marvel Legends, but you can definitely see... This was a much needed upgrade, we'll just say, except for the bike. I really do like the old Toy Biz bike still. Do I like it more than the new one? I like it for various reasons, more so nostalgia than anything, but I wish it looked more like the old one. Now, when you look at all the various Ghost Riders in my collection, pre-transformed Johnny Blaze, Johnny Blaze, Danny Ketch, Danny Ketch, blue Danny Ketch, Johnny Blaze again, and then the old Danny Ketch from Toy Biz days. It's a lot of fun. I like my Ghost Rider, and I'm happy to say that, yes, with the new upcoming Blackheart wave, I'm eager to add some much-needed villains. But when you really want to see how this new Danny Ketch Ghost Rider scales with all the other Marvel Legends in your collection, I'm going to be honest and say he's a little teeny tiny for me. I've always thought Danny Ketch was a bigger type character. Not huge, but bigger, a lot more in the shoulders. If you're wondering how this Danny Ketch pairs up with various villains on your shelf for the Ghost Rider lore, whether it be for Danny Ketch, Johnny Blaze, you get the idea. But yes, I would say that he squares up pretty well, but like I said, I really wish this had a little bit more heft for this Danny Ketch Ghost Rider. For display-wise, now this Danny Ketch can go with the Fantastic Four, Spider-Man, Grey Hulk, and Wolverine, if you know, you know. But yes, that was an interesting storyline back in the day. The Fantastic Four were quote-unquote deceased, and we got a brand new... Call of the Four in the form of these four. Go figure, right? Now, in terms of Hearts of Darkness, wasn't that a great comic book? Not so much the sequel, but The Punisher, Danny Ketch, Wolverine going up against Black Hearts. That's pretty cool. I'm actually really stoked. So again, my nitpicks aside, you can tell that I'm having fun with this Ghost Rider, but I'm really going to eyeball it because... I loves it so much. So that is going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new Hasbro Marvel Legends from the Marvel 85th anniversary line, the Danny Ketch Ghost Rider, a much needed figure. And yes, I means what I says. They really could have given him a new head portrait, maybe some fire breathing effects, something, pen and stare, all that kind of stuff. That would have been awesome. But Part of the fun is pairing him with other characters like Galactus. <laughs> We've all seen that Fantastic Four episode. He just wrecked him in two seconds. But again, if you've been collecting Marvel Legends all these years, we're getting to this point where we're getting much needed upgrades. Characters are coming back. Fan favorite characters are coming back. And they just look really good when they're all posed up. So, you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Danny Ketch Ghost Rider. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, when it comes to the villains of Ghost Rider, I say bring them on, Hasbro. Bring them on, and bring them on heavy. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.